Hello and welcome to another Every Tuesday tutorial. In this week's tutorial, we're going to create this pair of cute winter mittens all in Illustrator, so 100% from scratch. So this is the exact outcome that we're going to be creating together. I'm working in CMYK for this as if maybe you'd want to print this at home on your home printer for possibly a greeting card. So that's why we're working in CMYK this week. So I am using a very, very basic color palette. I've got three colors, three shades of red right here. So I'm going to give them to you to start things off. So this is the lighter bright colored red. This is the medium one. And this is the dark colored red. Okay. So I'm going to move these over to the side so I can work and we can kind of reference these. I've got the keystrokes on screen, so we are good to go. So the first thing I'm going to do is just grab my rounded rectangle tool over here and I'm just going to draw out a basic rectangle that's a little taller than it is wide for our men. And then uh, I'm going to grab our lips tool right here. And the point of this is that you just kind of want the edge to touch the other edges. So you can see we've got a curved top right here. So that's all looking really good. And from here, it's looking a little squarish. So I'm working in Illustrator Creative Cloud, um, which I would definitely recommend for this because these live corners come in super handy. See how I can make my edges a little more curved. So I want this to be a little bit more curved right here. So that looks better just for our base part of our mitten down here. I don't want it to be too squarish. So that looks pretty good. And I might need to knock this down a little bit because you can see I've got a little bit of a gap right here now. So I'm just going to toggle it down until I hit the edge. That looks good. All right, we've got the base of our mitten. So that's just freehanded, so not a big deal right there. So what we're gonna do is just merge this all together. So select both of these, come over here to your Pathfinder palette. If you don't see this over here, you can get to it by going Window, Pathfinder. And you're just gonna hit this Unite icon right here. So it's gonna merge them together. So now we've got one shape. So I'm gonna make this the red color right here, our bright red. Okay, so we've got our base mitten already done. And now we're gonna add in our thumb. So I'm actually going to use the rounded rectangle tool again. And let's draw out a thumb. I'm gonna adjust these corners. So all I have to do is grab one of the nodes and it'll affect all of the corners at once. So I want it to be a little more thumb-like, that looks better. And then just kind of rotate it over here so it feels realistic, like it's coming off of the base of the mitten right here. So I might need to stretch this out a little further. All right, let's color this this medium color and send it to the back. So Command Shift Open Bracket or Control Shift Open Bracket sends it to the back. You can also right click, arrange, send it back that way too. Okay, so we've got our thumb right there. So let's zoom out and make sure that's feeling okay. And I think I want to angle it out just a little bit further. Let's do something like that. Okay, so we've got the base of our mitten going pretty well. The next thing we're gonna add is our base part right here. So this little part that goes around your wrist. So I'm gonna grab the rounded rectangle tool again and just freehand it out right here so it feels proportional and comfortable. And I think I wanna make these edges just a little bit rounder one more time. Okay. So that looks good. And now we need to simulate the stitching on this. So as you can see over here, um, we've just got a line of rectangles. So that's all we're gonna do right here. It's a really simplified look of a raised stitch. I think I'm gonna make this a little bit wider. Okay, so I'm gonna grab the regular rectangle tool for this. So select that. I'm gonna make this the regular bright red right here. So I've got my color selected. I've got my rectangle. And I'm just gonna draw a skinny rectangle right here. So that looks good and then i'm going to select it hold alt click and as i'm dragging i'm going to hold shift to keep it straight and kind of match it to the other side and now i need a bunch of them in between here so a quick way to do that is to use our blend tool so just double click on your blend tool right here and under spacing select specified steps and i think i'm going to make this like 15 steps and hit ok click on one rectangle and then click on your second rectangle and that'll put 15 extra rectangles between them. Okay, we've got our stitching. On to the next part. So before we get to our design right here, we're gonna add in this little shadow to the thumb. I don't wanna forget that. So the way that you do that is just hit P on your keyboard. You're just going to 
where these two hit, these two shapes right, hit right here. If you have your Smart Guides turned on, you can do that by going View, Smart Guides, um, and it'll automatically kind of tell you where it is right here. So click here, click up here. It's okay if you go beyond it. Um, and you just want this part up here to be wider than the base part. So I'm kind of like coming much wider up here than I am down here. So I'm casting a shadow that the men's creating on the thumb. And then we want to color this our dark red right here. So eyedropper that and then come back here. And actually, if you select your thumb and select the shadow for the thumb. So with both of these selected, you want to click on the shape builder tool right here. And this is a new tool that is part of Illustrator Creative Cloud, which is pretty cool. So you're just going to click on that and you're going to hold alt. You can see I'm selecting all the different pieces without even using my pathfinder tool. So that's pretty cool. Um, so all I'm going to do is hold alt and it'll remove this extra piece that we've got right here that's going off of it. So now we've got a seamless um, shadow that goes right along the contour of the thumb, which is really helpful. And I think down here I'm already okay. Yeah, this follows fine. Um, so you can see we've got a little bit of overlap right here on the main red part. So we just want to send this shadow behind the red part, but not behind the thumb. So um, what you can do is just toggle it. So control, open bracket, or command, open bracket, and you just toggle it until it knocks it behind it, which you can see right there. And now we've got a shadow on our thumb, so it feels a little more realistic. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is just drop in this rectangle where our design is gonna go. So I'm just gonna hit M on my keyboard for my rectangle tool, and you're just going to create this rectangle right in the center of your mitten. You can zoom up really close to make sure you're hitting the edges, but if you have your smart guides turned on, it usually snaps to those edges pretty quickly. Okay, so we've got our rectangle, plenty of space to put our design. I'm gonna color it this medium red color to match our thumb. And now we're going to create our design. I'm actually gonna make this a little skinnier. It's feeling a little wide. Okay, so in order to create the snowflake star design that's pretty inherent to Christmas or the holiday season, um, my way of doing this is grabbing the star tool over here. By default, you have a five pointed star, so I'm just gonna reduce this by one point. So hit your arrow down key on your keyboard and I'll bring it down to four points. And then you're gonna hold shift so you have a perfectly straight star, and then you're just going to release, hit V on your keyboard for your selection tool, and then you're just gonna squish it. And from here, you're going to hit your hyphen key for your delete anchor point tool. You can also get to this by coming over here to your pen tool, holding down on that, and then choosing delete anchor point tool. And then you're just gonna delete these extra points right here. And then you get a perfect little diamond that we can use for our design. So obviously I need to scale this way down, but in order to maintain proportions, you wanna make sure you're holding shift. And if you wanna universally scale it down, just hold alt as well at the same time. So, and if you want it squished even more, you can also do that. So we've got a nice narrow uh, diamond and that's still feeling a little too big. So I'm just gonna scale it just a little bit more. So that's gonna fit really nicely here. I'm gonna color this white so we can see it really well. So I'm just gonna grab white over here in my color palette and now I can see what I'm doing. All right, so these next few steps are really closely related to another tutorial I have on creating geometric snowflakes. So I'll leave a link in the video description to that tutorial if you wanna dive into this kind of technique or this trick a little further. Um, so definitely check that out. But in essence, what you're gonna do is with your diamond selected, you're gonna hit R on your keyboard for your rotate tool. And now you have to choose a point of origin. You can hopefully see these light blue crosshairs right here. We need to move those below the, the bottom tip of our diamond so it kind of rotates around that point. So what you're gonna do is find a good place right below this point, hold Alt. This is super important, it won't work if you don't do this. So hold Alt and then click. And you're gonna get this little menu pop up and all you're gonna do is put in the angle that you want. So we want a six pointed star. So we're gonna put in 60 degrees and you're just gonna hit copy. Don't hit okay, hit copy. And now you have a copy of this diamond and in order to repeat this process, you're just gonna hit command D or control D on a PC and just keep doing it until you have um, all of your diamonds rotated around this point that we designated right here. So if we zoom out, you can see we've got our nice little snowflake star design. So I'm gonna select one of these because um, in the example, let's go over here. You can see I've got them a little tighter together over here. That just happened because the point of origin that I chose was a little closer to the bottom point of 
the diamond. So if you want them super close together, just make sure that point is a little closer to the bottom part of your diamond. So over here, we've got these kind of emanating out around. So I need to repeat the same exact process, only I'm going to change the color on this. Um, so I'm going to come back over here. I'm going to grab one of these diamonds. So I'm going to hold Alt, click and drag, and that'll make a copy. So I'm going to rotate this so it feels a little more in line with this angle. I'm going to hold Shift, scale down so this is definitely smaller right here so that looks pretty good and from here i think i need to rotate it just a little bit more all right so now we're going to repeat the exact same process so you're going to select this hit r on your keyboard and then you're going to come back to the very middle point of all of these diamonds you're going to hold alt and you're going to click once when this pops up, 60 degrees should still be here. Make sure you hit copy and then hit command D or control D and it'll rotate all the way around. All right, so we're in really good shape. Now we've got our design all set. So what we wanna do is select all of these. So I'm holding shift as I'm selecting them all. And I'm gonna group them together, command G or control G. I'm gonna eyedropper the regular mitten to change that color. And then I'm gonna select all of these and group Whoops, I'm gonna group all of these ones together and we're gonna make this one, we're gonna group them and then make them this really dark red color. All right, so we've got our design on our mitten. So I'm gonna select both of these, center things a little bit and we're all set with this design. If I wanna center this, let me group all these together and then if I hold shift and select my rectangle and then just click on your rectangle one more time so it's like double selected right here and then you hit this icon right here for our horizontal align center, it'll align your star to the rectangle. So everything's perfectly aligned and it looks like it already was, so we're good to go. All right, so our mitten is totally done. So now we just need its other hand and then we can attach our string so this mitten is definitely a little taller than these ones if you want yours a little bit shorter a really easy way to do that is hitting a on your keyboard just selecting the top half of your mitten so these points are selected and then you can just toggle them down a little bit and you can have a mitten for smaller hands if you want and then i'm just going to select these and move these down a little bit too makes it a little cuter when it's a little shorter all right, that looks good. All right, so from here, we're gonna group all of these together so they don't get misplaced. And we're gonna rotate this just to add a little bit more, just to add some dynamics to our design. And then we're gonna hold Alt, click and drag. And then you're gonna hit O on your keyboard, click right here, and then just drag this. So click and drag this and it'll reflect it over that point. And now I've got, two different hands right here. So I like them being pretty, pretty angled. All right, so now we're just gonna draw in our string. So I like grabbing my pencil tool for this part. So hit N on your keyboard, and then you're just gonna freehand a string. So let's change the color of this. We wanna make sure it's applied to our stroke right here. So make sure your stroke is in the front, Hit I on your keyboard, hold shift, and you can just select this darker red right here. Then hit N on your keyboard for your pencil tool. And now you can kind of freehand this string. All right, and then we wanna make the string a little thicker so you can see it really well. So come over here to your stroke palette, up the weight of your string. I think two points actually looks pretty good. We're gonna send this to the back so it's behind everything. And then you can just group everything together and now you're all set. So that is how to create a pair of cute winter mittens in Adobe Illustrator from scratch. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe and you can find more design and lettering tutorials and freebies over on my blog, every-tuesday.com. And you can see more artwork from me over on Instagram. My handle is at everytuesday. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next week.